having a narcissist or multiple narcissists in your life is challenging enough. But what about the people that support the narcissist? What about them? How do we deal with them? And they can be challenging because they do the narcissist dirty work. And they seem to be a collective group that seem to relish in the fact that they're doing this person's dirty work and making your life a living hell. Let's discuss those types of people and how to avoid them. Welcome back friends, Ashley Burgess here today. And today we're gonna to be talking about those people that do the narcissist dirty work. And we call them flying monkeys. And the concept and the terminology was well created. And many of you have seen The Wizard of Oz and you know the Wicked Witch, right? And the Wicked Witch had her group of flying monkeys that would do her dirty work. And so that's where this comes from. That's where the concept of flying monkeys come from. The people that do the narcissist dirty work, they're flying monkeys. Now, who can these flying monkeys be? If you have a narcissist in the family, it could be another family member or multiple family members that are also doing the dirty work of the narcissist. It could be a narcissist at your work. And so the flying monkeys could also be coworkers. It could even be a friend in your friend circle and those flying monkeys are also doing their dirty work as well. So we need to keep our eye on these people because a lot of times they can go under the radar labeled as a coworker, a family member, or a friend. So what do flying monkeys actually do? Well, let's break it down a bit. So one of the things that they can do is they can villainize another person. They can villainize the victim, perhaps. So the narcissist is upset with somebody, they're angry at this person, and they're trying to bury them. And in the process of burying them, they're villainizing them, making them out to be this horrible person. And the flying monkeys come around and support the narrative. So they support the narrative that this person is a bad person, that they've done something wrong. They're basically beating this person mentally and emotionally into the ground so that the narcissist wins and this person just leaves them alone or eventually just goes away. Another good skill set that these flying monkeys have is they're really good at bullying people. Because remember, it's one thing to be in an argument or a fight with one person, but think about how hard it is when there's that one person, but they have a whole group supporting them. And usually the fights are not physical fights, right? They're mental and emotional fights. The fights might even be launched on social media where they're digging at their victim, going after them, and there's a group of people digging at them. And so that bullying is an aspect of the flying monkeys that they use really well because they can bully in numbers. Another thing that the flying monkeys do well is they can triangulate. So triangulization, right? Three people involved. And so there's the one person that they're kind of beating up on mentally and emotionally, and they kind of come at different angles. And then they invalidate that person. And that's a big deal is invalidating the feelings of that person because if you have the narcissist already invalidating the feelings, making the feelings not real, telling the person that they're not real, you shouldn't feel this way, I didn't hurt you, you know, you're making this all up in your head, and then they have their flying monkeys that also coordinate that narrative. This is kind of scary too because sometimes this can lead to crazy making where we start questioning our own reality. When somebody gaslights us and then another person's gaslighting us and another person's agreeing, with the reality that's not really reality, it starts changing things for us. And that happens a lot of times when people are going through major stressors in their life, particularly divorce, when there's somebody that might have narcissistic tendencies that have their crew around them, making the person that they're trying to divorce feel bad, you know, putting them down, trying to make them feel like they're kind of going crazy. Another aspect of the flying monkeys is the gossip spreading. And this is a big deal a lot of times when people are going through divorce, when uh, one of the people goes around telling everybody about what a horrible person their ex, soon to be ex spouse is, usually making up lots of lies um, and, and being very liberal in the narrative. And then the flying monkeys take it and run with it and tell everybody about it. Oh, did you know that so-and-so was cheating? Did you know they had multiple, multiple, multiple affairs? All this stuff's going on. And they paint this picture of the other person that makes the other person look really bad. And eventually it gets back to that other person and it can be very, very hurtful and very painful, especially if the other person had nothing going on and they were trying their best to keep the marriage together. It can be really sad because you begin to question, why was I even in this marriage to begin with? They think this about me and now everybody in the small town is talking about me because of them and their flying monkeys doing their dirty work. So this is interesting. So are you aware of any flying monkeys in your life? Are you aware of any specific narcissists in your life? And can you spot the people that seem to have their back? 
And these are people that we need to avoid as much as possible because the narcissist can do their damage, but these flying monkeys can do a lot of damage as well. So what do we need to do? The first thing that you want to do is to be aware of all the people in your life, their intention and their motivation. And especially if you're going through a life changing event right now, like going through a divorce or a massive breakup, we need to analyze the motivation and intention of the people around us. And we need to be sure that the people around us really are our friends. Because remember, the flying monkeys get information and take it back to the narcissist. And the last thing that we want is somebody taking advantage of us when we're in our most vulnerable state. The next thing that we need to look at is we need to understand, and many of us might not understand this because we've been brought up in a toxic environment, even growing up, we didn't have the right to feel how we felt. We didn't have the right to, to feel a certain way because our feelings were invalidated. And many of us grow up with that environment and we get into our adult life and we have that same environment with our family, our friends, and even our marriage. So we need to be aware of, is someone trying to make fun of you and your feelings? Does someone try to make light or kind of jab you with how you feel? Is somebody invalidating your feelings? And invalidation of feelings is a big thing that flying monkeys use because they try to make you feel bad for having feelings about something. And they try to make fun of you to bring you down, to make you feel bad, to make you feel small. So this is a big awareness piece. If you're around someone and you feel like you're constantly having to validate how you feel and you're constantly having to prove it and it seems like they don't understand, this might not be someone that you want to be spending a lot of time with and certainly not someone that you want to be telling anything of value to because it could be being spread to other people without your knowledge. Last but not least, and this can be challenging if you are going through a divorce in this moment or going through a breakup in this moment, but if you're kind of off on the backside of this, it's time to disconnect and cut some ties. And even if you're going through a divorce right now, there's probably some people that you need to clean house, okay? There's some people there that you need to let go of, you need to cut ties, you don't need to continue to communicate with because that communication is not being helpful. And I find that a lot of times when we go through these life changes, we start depending on people that might not have our best intention at heart. And we need to kind of get back to the basics and start analyzing who really can I trust with my feelings. Uh, if you are feeling separate and you're feeling singled out or you're feeling a little scared because things have changed, who can I really trust with those feelings? And then otherwise than that, I don't need to be talking about my feelings. I don't need to be putting myself out there. Also finding a therapist or a coach is very helpful to be able to have that person that can communicate with you and you can communicate your feelings so you're not putting yourself out there to be a possible victim of the narcissist or to continue to be a possible victim of the narcissist or definitely a victim of the flying monkeys and their work. So this is very important for anybody out there that's dealing with a narcissist in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you've let this go in a relationship, you're going through a divorce, or maybe there's family dynamic drama there that you've been dealing with your whole life. The narcissist is one thing, but analyzing that they're not alone is very important because once you realize who the flying monkeys are, you take a lot of the power of the narcissist away from them. I hope this video has helped you. Please share with your family and friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it helps me to understand that, hey, you like the content and you're here to support and that means a lot. Uh, in the comments section, let me know, do you have some flying monkeys that you've been able to identify in your life? And if so, how did you cut them off? Because that's one of the biggest things because it can be kind of challenging to cut them off, but it's a really good thing to do because what they're doing is taking your information and your personal stuff and feeding it to the person that might be making your life a living hell. Don't forget we have an option to join as a member here as well on the YouTube channel to become a member when you get uh, access to other content that's not available on the main YouTube page. Don't forget to live your true life.